Earlier this year, I heard oral evidence and read written statements about the human pain and suffering that unfolded following decisions taken on the basis of data produced by Horizon. That pain and suffering was described graphically by some of those most badly affected at hearings which I conducted in London, Cardiff, Leeds, Glasgow and Belfast. No one will be surprised when I say that the evidence I read and heard made a deep impression upon me. On any view, the scale of the human suffering has been, and in many cases continues to be, very significant. From a very early stage of my involvement in this inquiry, I was convinced of the need to take evidence about what I have described as the human impact early on in the inquiry's work. More recently, I have been investigating the processes for delivering compensation to those who are entitled to claim it. On the 15th of August, I published a progress update dealing specifically with this issue. And on the 22nd of September, I indicated I would hold a hearing later in this year or early next to consider these processes further. I can now announce that I will hold such a hearing on the 8th of December of this year. Meanwhile, the spotlight is turning to the next phase of the inquiry, which will examine the development, rollout and early day days of the Horizon system and the myriad of decisions made by the persons who were closely involved. Necessarily, I will hear evidence from senior company executives, senior civil servants and government ministers. The initial timetable for these hearings is published today. Those following the work of the inquiry closely will know that I have divided its work into seven distinct phases. In order to complete all the phases during the course of next year, the inquiry will have to work at considerable speed and I will require the complete cooperation of all the core participants. The Secretariat and the legal team are working non-stop to ensure that the evidence is heard next year and that I am able to report as soon thereafter as is reasonably practicable. I'm examining events and decisions spanning 20 years and so my desire to provide answers to those adversely affected as swiftly as possible has to be tempered by my overriding duty to lay bare who knew what, when did they know it, and what did they do with the knowledge they had acquired. These questions are at the heart of much of the remainder of the inquiry's work. I am determined to expose the truth about these matters. As in the human impact hearings, all future hearings will be streamed via YouTube. And from today, persons who are interested may apply to attend the hearings in person. It is very important to me that this public inquiry is as trans transparent as I can possibly make it. And so I encourage anyone interested in following the hearings to do so over the coming months.